Welcome to Micron's Hardware. In this video, I'm going to tell you about this graphics card, and it is AMD Radeon RX 6600M from AliExpress. So this is a mobile GPU chip mounted onto a standard PCI Express graphics card. To do not waste your time, I have collected the most valuable information about this RX 6600M in this printout, and now I'm going to cover each point one by one. Starting with the performance, according to the specification, RX 6600M is exactly the same GPU die as the standard RX 6600. RX 6600M has just slightly lower power consumption and maybe slightly lower clocks, depends on the situation. So, unsurprisingly, this 6600M performs just like a standard 6600. I will add in the video description links to 3D Mark Time Spy and 3D Mark Five Strike benchmarks, but in short, I was able to get in the top 10 results compared to the standard 6600, when I filter out by the same CPU, of course. I have also found a very good review of AMD RX 6600 from Hardware Unbox or TechSpot website, where they have tested a few different games. I have a couple of games which are matching, so I can do one-to-one -one comparison. And these two games are Watch Dogs Legion and Horizon Zero Dawn. So in the test, uh, in Watch Dogs Legion, they are getting 65 FPS on average using the standard 6600. And in my case, using the 6600M, I'm getting 70 FPS. In their case, with Horizon Zero Dawn, they're getting 87 FPS using the standard 6600. And in my case, using this 6600M, I am getting 95 FPS. Of course, this is not exactly one-to-one -one comparison, because they used AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, and I am using Core i7-12700K, also you might have some different configuration in the drivers, in the operating system, and so on, but still, we can see that the performance of this 6600M is on par with the standard RX 6600. Maybe it is not faster than 6600, but it's also not slower than the standard 6600. Now I'm going to cover features of this AMD RX 6600M graphics card. Much to my surprise, I didn't have to do anything with the drivers. The official AMD drivers are working perfectly fine, and all the AMD features such as resizable bar or smart access memory, how AMD are calling them, then AMD FSR and Radeon Relieve all are working just fine with this AMD RX 6600M. So this is just a legit AMD graphics card, which was designed for laptops, but now we can use it in a desktop environment. I have also tested the video outputs. With HDMI, I can confirm that you can get 4K 120Hz. With the display port, I do not have such devices, so the maximum I was able to test is 4K 60Hz. Still, I don't see any reasons why 4K 120Hz would not work through the display port. And finally, this AMD RX 6600M is connected to the motherboard through PCI Express 4.0 X8 connection, just like the standard AMD RX 6600. This means that if your CPU and your motherboard support PCI Express 4.0, the performance will be marginally better than if you use this graphics card with a 3.0 connectivity. In general, 6600 and 6600M are not fast enough to be bottlenecked by PCI Express 3.0 X8 connectivity. The next item in my list is frequency and overclocking. With the default settings under the gaming conditions, so this RX 6600M is staying somewhere between 2350 and 2400 MHz. The memory frequency is 1750 MHz. For overclocking, you can use MSI Afterburner and the official AMD tools. With overclock, you first need to increase the power consumption limitation, and then you can slightly increase the GPU clock frequency itself. I was able to achieve somewhere between 2400 and 2500 MHz under the gaming conditions. Unfortunately, memory overclocking is not possible. Any attempt to increase the memory frequency makes the GPU go into the safe mode, the clock frequency and the memory frequency drops. To restore the normal operation of the GPU, you need to restart your computer. This is very sad, but luckily enough, 1750 MHz doesn't really cripple the performance. The next thing to cover is power consumption, temperature, and acoustics. With the default settings, the GPU is capped at 100 watts of the power consumption, but if you increase the power consumption limit and slightly overclock the GPU, the consumption goes to about 105 to 115 watts. So as you can see, the power consumption is significantly or slightly better than the standard RX 6600, depends how you look at it 
it, but the GPU is rather efficient for the desktop use. Acoustics is also very nice. At idle the GPU is almost silent, even though we do not have the fan stop technology, so the fans keep spinning even at idle. The default fan curve is rather aggressive, so the fan spins up rather quickly, but even with this configuration the GPU is not noisy at all. I have tested multiple different graphics cards, and I have to say that this RX 6600M is not noisy at all. And with this the GPU temps were somewhere between 60 and 70 degrees Celsius, so it is a very good result. I'm going to add a few clips so you can listen to the graphics card yourself, but it is very hard to estimate the noise level because I don't know what kind of uh, uh, noise level my microphone is picking up and I don't know what kind of uh, volume you're using to listen to the video, but if you want it, it's here. My personal opinion is that this RX 6600M is rather power efficient and rather silent. The pre-last item to cover in this video is the cooler itself and the assembling quality. The assembling quality is rather nice and I don't have major complaints. The cooler is made of a single aluminum block with no fin stacking, so it's not a premium design. But the good thing is that it has direct contact with the memory chips, with the VRAM modules, and of course with the GPU die itself. We also have two heat pipes inside the cooler, and these two heat pipes also have a direct contact to the GPU die, which is both good and bad. The surface of these heat pipes inside the GPU cooler is not perfectly flat, so you need to be careful not to over tighten the cooler and not to crack your GPU die with this uneven surface. From my experience, the cooler is working perfectly fine and the screws are having safety springs, so you can't really over tighten it. The only thing I could complain about is this plastic back plate. The back plate doesn't help in any way with cooling of the graphics card. Maybe it protects the rear side components of the graphics card, but mostly it's here for looks. The problem is that the back plate is rather thick and it might cause some troubles if you try to install the graphics card in tiny motherboards, for example Mini ITX, where the first PCI Express slot is very close to the memory slots, so it may interfere. It is also not possible to remove this back plate without uh, removing the front cooler, because there is one hidden screw which is holding this back plate, and that hidden screw is behind the cooler, so you first need to remove the cooler itself, and only after that you can remove the back plate. Also, if you remove the back plate, you would need to find some extra washers for two screws which are holding the cooler uh, by the VRM zone, because the plastic back plate is also used as um, some sort of a washer for these screws, or you might need to find shorter screws to be able to mount the uh, GPU cooler without this plastic back plate. It's a minor complaint, but I thought that you need to know it. The final but still very important point to discuss in this video is the price. Right now AliExpress is selling these 6600 amps for about 200 euros plus VAT. In my case, with the delivery to Sweden, I paid somewhere about 260 euros. And the cheapest RX 6600 here in Sweden would cost me at least 340 euros. So I have saved about 80 euros. If it is worth it or it is not worth it, it's your decision. I always recommend to first check your local stores, maybe you can find some good deals there. Then go to your second-hand market and see if you can find something decent there, and only then go to AliExpress. If you plan to buy one of these 6600 amps and you want to support my work and my channel, then you can use the referral link in the video description. Unfortunately, that store does not yet have uh, lots of positive feedback, so I'm not very confident in this store. That's why I'm also going to add a direct link to the store where I personally bought my 6600 amp. Sadly, this store does not participate in the AliExpress affiliate program, so if you buy from that store, I'm not going to get anything. But if you want to risk and support me, use the affiliated link. If you do not want to risk and just want the graphics card, then use the direct link that I will also provide in the video description. And with this, I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope it was interesting and educational. Bye for now! Ну а поки будем бить вас за зови, бочу за ні, за ні прови кручі, за ярпіні кити мучі, за лазала не квітучі, за Херсон землю родючу, за то за Донбас получиш, за Чернігів.